1999 out the Fur Park Tunnel. Channel 99 News, and today's show, the Brexit debacle, continues. We have seen yet more mass strikes over climate change carry on, but first, our main headline. The match day vlogging debate rumbles on into yet another week, as BBC Scotland show A View From The Terrace resurfaced the argument on national television. Here's our live correspondent, Nodrog Sino, with the latest on said matter. Thank you very much Saigog. Now match day vlogging is a very hot topic indeed. We've been talking about this for generations upon generations. 16 year olds deciding to film themselves on their phone or camera at football matches and I mean if you're going to pay money to watch a good football game what's even the point if you're just going to have your phone out in front of you for 90 minutes. The fact that you are putting yourself in a public place by just posting videos of yourself online just opens up to so much criticism and most of it is very warranted because you're, do you're taking your own risks in doing so such as this Aston Villa fan who had a video of him at a train station in Birmingham getting harassed by Birmingham fans in January 2017, a certain Motherwell fan took the internet by storm by going viral at Ibrox after greeting his eyes out as Kenny Miller scored twice in the last 10 minutes for Rangers to win 2-1, knocking Motherwell out of the Scottish Cup. And there's a whole host of just absolute numpties that decide, Ken what, we're going to film ourselves at the game because we've got a sad life and we've got nothing better to do why don't you just get a job? I mean, you can tell that none of these people have ever felt the loving touch of a woman. And yeah, rant over. Uh, thanks, Saigog, and uh, do what else you've, whatever you've got to do. Just read a teleprompter or something. Thank you, Nodrog, for the negative argument towards the, the match day vlogging scene. Now, we're going to head over to resident YouTuber Gogsy99 with his views on what the matchday vlogging scene's all about. <sighs> oh, are we, are we on? Oh, right, oh, right, okay. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was just getting my tash off. Anyway, so that was just a wee... I, I tried to be a bit funny about the whole mainstream media attitude towards the sort of YouTube scene in that wee clip there and I hope I got my point across because I feel like the whole mainstream media is still very uh, premature in, in their judgement uh, towards YouTubers and the whole YouTube scene and let's be honest who wouldn't be if they just saw people who were making videos in their own bedroom uh huh, uh, like this, uh, uh, in a makeup setup, and just deciding, okay, what, well, on Saturday, I'm going to the football, and I'm going to make a video out of it. So, for those who are new to the channel, hello, I'm Gogs89, I bet we sure were. I got called out by one of the boys on a view from the terrace. Joel Skid, make yourself scarce because I don't think you're going to like what I have to say here. Things that are happening online just now, are these going to stay with us forever more or should we just throw them in the bin? So what we're looking at this week is football vloggers. Oh no! What I'm asking is, is it the future? Is this the way that things are going? Should we embrace it? you seen the day with the team fans I've never actually watched the Rangers fans TV, by the way. I've seen one um, a model fan celebrating a goal against Hearts, and, I mean, you've just scored against Hearts, a rubbish Hearts side. You don't really need to go mental and look like you've just won an Oscar. Ah, uh, shut up. You mad? You mad, Joe? You mad? Like, Are you still seething? Ah, the tears <laughs> taste amazing, man. Honestly. 
I, I find it a, a, a curious way to, to watch football. I think if, you, if you're paying the money to go into ground, to watch a game of football, surely you're, you're going to be spending more time watching that rather than taking time to, to film yourself on your phone. I, uh, I could not sit next to them. Me neither, to be fair. No, thankfully. That said, I think from what I've seen, they, they do have an audience. You know, you, you, you click on the links on YouTube and they've had thousands and thousands of views, so there is an audience there for them. So, fair enough. I mean, I do think they are a, a good addition. I think the, the Motherwell fan, uh, Gogsy, I watched a bit of his stuff uh, online. There's a, a, a party walking sense. down the street and he says, to, to quote Freddie Mercury. To quote the late, great Freddie Mercury, it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining, Motherwell. Now, I am no Queen expert <laughs> and I don't know all Queen songs, but I am finding it difficult to believe that Freddie Mercury ever said uh, that, that, that quote. He definitely does. The evolution of the way we consume football. Being able to uh, film your reaction to, to games and put together these packages and speaking to other it's, fans. Uh, that, I that's, that, that, that is, that's something I don't get on board with is in terms of like filming your reaction to everything. It's all about, it's, it's all very uh, cringe when I see it. This is different. This is them documenting their actual emotions when these things happen. So this is like, for example, Aaron Fraser is a, a big Hearts fan. Uh, he was at the same Motherwell game as, as Gogsy and this is the exact same goal. And that reaction that he has when uh, Hilton scores, when Sean Clare sells the jerseys, that's every Hearts fan. <laughs> it's, it, it... Oh no! Oh no! Oh God! One of my favourite things in football is to watch a crowd completely lose themselves collectively after a, an important mm. goal. I've often said before that live TV doesn't show the crowd enough after a goal. They're kind of focusing yeah. on the players, kind of jumping on each other, but if you kind of pan back and see the crowd, Mental. It's always it's always a great sight to see just these jumble of bodies kind of climbing over each other, and I think some of these fan vlogs help show that. Some of the angles you get of celebrations are fantastic. 1885 Ben was at a Dundee derby. When Dundee scored that goal that was disallowed, yeah. you see the fans run on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was at that game too, by the way. Go watch it. Right, before we indulge ourselves in my opinion on what these lovely lads have had to say, I need a couple more sips of this. For a start, in the clip that 1885 Ben sent to me, because he was good enough to record the screen and just send me the, the footage, uh, Thanks Ben, uh, his link's in the description, as is Aaron's, uh, because, I mean, these two lads are really good uh, at what they do as well. Joel Sked hated my celebrations of Mother scoring against Hearts, but he still loved the fact that someone had actually filmed footage of a Dundee fan running on the pitch celebrating in front of Dundee United fans, even though the goal was disallowed. So, I think, I think you should show a wee bit less bias uh, about that and uh, we'll let bygones be bygones. I mean, it's not like they don't have three Hearts fans or anything like that on the show, is it? I mean, maybe they should get a Dunfermline fan or a Motherwell fan on just to balance it up. Oh, okay, I see what you did there. So, the video of me that was brought up was the... Twitter video that I posted which actually has like 65,000 views what I decided was you know what I've accidentally somehow uh, recorded my live reaction uh, to Motherwell scoring like I didn't know we were gonna score and it was just a coincidence I was recording because I was actually doing a bulletin at the time of how I felt the match was going because I didn't feel like I'd recorded enough during the second half at that time so I was just like oh stuff it will we'll record and then hearts were through a goal and Washington missed and then we went up the park and scored so I thought what a great moment and it's very rarely I get a chance to actually film a moment like that and for me it had a lot of value so I thought you know what I'll post it to Twitter and uh, just tease a sort of this is what's to come on my next vlog maybe entice a few more viewers uh, and get them coming over to my channel it backfired <laughs> uh, i literally got so much hate it was unreal as an attention seeker uh, I, I got a buzz off it i, I mean because that, that's all match day vloggers are i mean we, we're just attention seekers and 
we want to be something that we're not. Isn't isn't that it in a nutshell? Like filming your reaction to everything. It's all a bit. It's, it's all very uh, cringe when I see it. Please just do not hit me with that attitude of oh you scored against a rubbish Hearts team. You, you scored three goals at Tyne Castle, and you know what? The last time we won at Tyne Castle was 2014 when we were doing unbelievably well in the league, when we were third, or best of the rest. I've never seen us, well, before that game, I'd never seen us win a game in the league in Edinburgh, let alone Tyne Castle. So at least give me that, because I've had so many shit away days at your bit, and at Hibs, and in Glasgow, and just as a small club fan, I mean, you don't get many of those, but I did have many of these on that occasion. I mean, let's be honest, the only good thing about Edinburgh is you can drink on the streets. You may think it's cringe, which is just honestly a stupid description of anything that's just against the ordinary in today's, in today's society. Uh, because, literally, if you do anything that anyone sees there's something slightly wrong about, They'll just say, oh, that's cringe, and just wave it away, as if it's absolutely nothing. And, to be honest, I absolutely despise that attitude. The way I see it is, you've got to appreciate things with an open mind. Uh, and, yeah, I completely understand if you don't get this whole vlogging malarkey. So, Mother will play Hearts in December. My bit. Why don't you come, have a few drinks, and... Maybe I'll change your mind. One guy on the show I do really appreciate though is what Robert Borthwick said. He's, he actually said on Twitter uh, he thinks what we are doing as football vloggers is class and just says keep it up. When there is people in the mainstream media that are appreciating what we are trying to do, the thing is I'm trying to break into the football media because I want a job as a football pundit or something along those lines. I just want to talk about football for the rest of my life and hopefully to get some royalty from it. But the thing is, YouTube isn't really doing anything for me right now. If I were to hopefully one day just get a sniff at a job in the football media, that's all I'm asking, just give me one chance. There's only two ways you, you can actually get into it. One, if you've already been a professional footballer and I've, I've been a free agent for two years, so there's, there's, been a, there's absolutely no way I'm going to get to have a professional contract and two, you've just got to start from the bottom. And I've been so fortunate to get to work on or talk to CJ and Sharp Div and Ryan118 and be on the SPFL show on CJ Novo 992's channel, uh, which is always a great laugh. Unfortunately, I'm not really able to do uh, Mondays at the moment because... I've got commitments with the university. I always enjoy a show like there's not been a show I haven't enjoyed and just talking to football fans about football, uh, that is the best thing about my life. TV never really shows you the stuff you want to see, does it? It's the stuff that they're allowed to show you is what, is what you see on TV. To quote the late great Freddie Mercury, it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining, I'm on the well. I'll be honest, I don't actually remember what vlog that was from. Uh, it was that long ago. And if you listen carefully here, you'd have heard these clacking together <laughs> in my bag. So I, I was definitely over the age of 18. Uh, so it, it might have been one of the Dundee away days because uh, I, I, I do enjoy a Dundee away day. Gone very far in my channel to dig up. And guys, if you ever do watch my channel, if you're a fellow professional. <laughs> My Twitter DMs are always open, feel free to drop me a DM, just have a chat, and you never know, if I'm ever at one of your team's games, I'm happy, I'm more than happy to join you for one of these, because, I mean, as we're all football people, and we should all be able to get along fine, I mean, we're all mature adults, should be able to just grab a pint, Chat about our favourite games, favourite teams, favourite players. I'm always down for that because I, I, th I don't think there's anything better. We're into my eighth year being a YouTuber. Uh, I've become a better person in that time. I've 
done a whole lot of stuff I've never imagined I would be able to do. But uh, it's just down to the people that are on the other end of the camera. Those who click on my videos, those who click the subscribe button, those who click the like button. I just can't thank you enough. Anyway guys, that's enough emotional chit chat from me. And um, yeah, like I said, if you ever see me in the pub, come up to me, say hello. Uh, tell me who you support and if you support Rangers or Celtic, I'll probably ignore you. But uh, if you support anyone else, I'm more than, <laughs> more than happy enough to uh, give you the time of day. Like I say, thank you for getting me into these positions. Without the midfielders through ball, the strikers got nothing to latch onto. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be well. I'm, I'm going. I'm going somewhere different this weekend, so uh, please watch it for that. Anyway, I'll see you later. Take care.